all right y'all so just a quick little how to remove the front end of a chevy c10 this is a 1984 but i mean this would probably work for most of the square body c10s out there let's see if I come over here busty yeah. We're make, or yeah we're gonna make a video stand behind me okay like that so i'm in the middle of prepping this truck to prepare it and um restore it but i'm gonna be taking off the front grill um, there's a lot of videos out there on how to do them um, that I've looked for but I don't, don't explain it properly or they're different model trucks so I'm gonna do one myself in case it helps anybody out out there so um, basically there's screws up here on the top so there's one here there's another one here and there's another one here and then I seen two more behind the actual grill over here so you're gonna have and on this side too so what you're gonna have to do is remove these little plastic parts you're gonna have to remove these little plastic parts on each side and then um remove this over here that way you can get to a screw so i already um took off these two screws so that there's one here and then there's one here and i can't find the other one right now because it's still not coming off but as you can see you can already kind of move it so i mean That'll give me enough room so I can at least get behind here and take this off and then we'll go from there. So there's another screw behind it over here, as you can see. So see. it's gonna be a Phillips head screwdriver. So we're gonna be removing those. Basically, these this is attached by two screws up here. So you take those off, that way you can have easier access. Now you can get to this screw. I'll put this down because I can't do it with one hand. So now after removing um, these two plates on each side, you're going to be able to get to this screw here. This is in the bottom, it's holding on. I'm gonna be able to get to these screws here. So take both those off here. Check to make sure that your grill doesn't have any other screws. I mean, it could technically have a screw here, but mine doesn't. Um, so it was basically just the top one that we removed and then the ones down here. But in order to get to these easily, you have to take this piece off, which I told you it was these two screws and then the top two, okay? So now to pull this off, be careful because it has like little clips holding on the little, these are like the, the signal lights so as you can see it has these clips here holding it on so when you pop it off you're gonna have to you can use that like be careful it comes off with the entire light at least mine does but, um... so here it should have like a little release it Oh, I had a screw underneath. So what you can do is just take off the light bulb. See? To make it easier. Just remove the light bulb on this side as well. Remove the bulb. Okay. And then voila. You can just pull the grill off. So there it is. See? Because as you can see. So these, this grill. Is being attached underneath by a screw. So, let me see back to step aside. So as you can see, it has another little screw here. So you can also take that off. That way you can take off this whole actual light. Yeah, and then it has this little clip, it'll slide down. Once you take off this screw, this will slide off. And as well as over here, it has a little screw here. So there it is, a way to take it off. Now, as far as these little moldings, the pieces up on, up on top, I can see that it has a screw here, a screw here, and then little screws up top up here. So you can remove that as well. 
So basically once you remove that then the rest is just pretty self-explanatory. It's just a little trim piece that goes along the side. So it has kind of like little bolts going all around it holding it in place. So you guys can just figure that out. Just follow all the bolts and then it'll come off easily. But I mean basically that's the gist of it. I just kind of want to give a quick little explanation because there's videos out there but they don't explain it much um, in detail and it's kind of confusing. Sorry if I confused you guys but you guys can leave me a comment if you guys have a question on how to do it. But basically that was it. The screws up on top which are the Phillips screws kind of like this size so you remove those and then there's three for me there was three up top but just make sure there's not any others for you there's three up top for the actual billet grill or whatever grill you have in the middle and let me see Basti and then to take off the trim piece here there was these two screws and then these two up on top that way you can get to the screw underneath that's holding on the billet grill here I mean just be careful guys there's little screws holding in place it's a Easy thing you can do yourself, but I just wanted to give you a quick little video explaining how to do it, all right? All right. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more videos on the C10 as I'm going to be restoring it and bringing it back to life. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, be able to follow all the videos that I'm doing. All right, guys, so hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks, y'all.